Right everyone, and welcome to a quick video on my last video on the Canon EOS 70D menu system. Um, let me just um, take this info off. Basically, I just thought I'd show you the menu system in video mode because it is slightly different to the menu system that you looked at before. So without further ado, I will press the menu button and you will see now that when we go to the this icon here, we've got some different settings. We've basically got a grid display, which overlays a grid over in video mode. We've got our settings, which are the 1920 by 25 frames at LLI, uh, sorry, ALLI, Ali, and 1920 by 25 at IPB. IPB is a lot smaller, it's still HD, and I can't tell the difference between both of the um, settings, um, apart from the IPB is a lot smaller. I have found out that um, using the IPB in Final Cut, because it's a smaller compressed format, it does take a little bit longer to export, but it's worth it because you don't fill up loads of memory cards. And then you've got your 24 frames in Ali and IPB as well. Then you've got your 1280 by 720 at 50 frames, which is good for your slow motion. So we'll just press the menu button again, and we've got the digital zoom, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, and then what I'll quickly do is, at the end of the video, uh, I'm going to pause this. Well, no, I'll record it at the same time and I'll record and have a mess around and see what it looks like. We've got sound recording, which we are recording. Well, this isn't actually recording at the minute, the video camera. Um, I'm using my lapel microphone um, with a Tascam plugged into my pocket. And we've got a new feature here called Time Code. Now, I haven't got a clue how to use Time Code just yet, but I do know that it's meant to be a fantastic feature for videographers. Um, so... There you go, and we've got time code on the new system. And then you've got your video snapshot mode, which I'm not going to go into this moment. So to be honest, that's about it really. So if we go back to the, um, the, the camera, you will also notice that I'm using a, a um, if I press the shutter button, it'll give me my exposure, and you can see it's slowing, showing slightly under. So let's just turn up the light. And you can see now, so that's what's good about this. When you're filming, you can actually just touch a shutter button and it'll show you what your settings are and where you are. So we're at 30th of a second F4 ISO 1000. Uh, are we at ISO 1000? Yep. Yeah. Um, and that's it, basically. Um, so what I'm going to do now, without further ado, let me just go around to my... I've got the AF turned off on the lens. Um, I'll turn it on. So now the lens is actually focusing. And I'm going to turn stabilisation on. Now, I know you wouldn't usually turn stabilisation on, but as I'm going to use this digital zoom feature, I really, really want it on. So, I'm going to do this now, and then we're going to go back and have a look. And I'm actually going to record now, um, so I can show you at the end of this video what this looks like. Um, can we move around the image? Um, now, I might need to manually focus. Uh, I'll better turn... It sounds like the autofocus doesn't work, so sorry if I'm not the camera then. So what we're going to do now, we're going to manually focus. There you go. So we'll come in more. What I'm going to have to do is, I don't know what this is going to do to that camera, but... And we'll leave it that. Can we come in anymore? Are we fully in? Right, we're fully in. So I'll just check focus. And I'll show you that video on the PC. So let's just zoom back out. So I'll just unpause that now. Pause that and I'm just going to quickly go turn the digital zoom off. And I'll show you, I'll turn the AF back on. And I'll just record that. The reason why I've done that is, so when you, you can see it now, but I'll play it at the end and then the video will end. But you'll see that that's normally zoomed in at um, 80 mil on the lens. I mean, and then I just did that magnificent zoom from the um, 
from the new digital zoom feature on the camera which I, I think obviously you had to manually focus um, but it w could be good in some circumstances I mean you can see how close we just got to that flower and we didn't even move anything we went right to the center of it which is bloody well to be honest it turned my 70 mil into nearly 10 times that do you know what I mean so anyway that, that's the last video I'm going to do on the EOS 70D. I'll just stop this now. That's the last video I'm going to do on the EOS 70D menu system. I just wanted to show you the video mode. And I'll just show you one other thing as well. If I touch the flower, and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to recompose. Can you see the nice little box trying to stay uh, framed? Um, which is quite good because it means you can focus and you can put your talent in the rule of thirds there. So now you can see that that focus system um, is one until I'll just speed up my shirt a bit there. You can see that that focus system there is now now locked. Um, and I think it's fantastic. I'll move the other way. Can you see how it's trying to stay focused at all times? Look, we'll go right to the edge. And you can see that that focus system is brilliant. We can touch the picture behind. Let's just, and we'll just stay like that. And then if we move, it's still trying to stay there. Let's touch the flower, bring the flower back in focus. Let's center, let's frame something and we're looking good. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe and watch this little video and see what you think about the digital zoom.